Have you ever wondered what kind of training people do to become a firefighter? Well, you're in luck because we're getting an up close and personal look. Yes, Ashley Williams is getting ready to go through the training herself this morning. Good morning, Ashley. Hello. You know what? I'm out of breath just turning or putting on the turnout. Uh -huh. And I would like to say at some point, uh, if you're in this business, Cody, you just co-signed. You probably, Cody, at some point had to put on, uh, these, mm -hmm. put on the uniform, the turnouts for firefighters. It's not easy. They're heavy. They're hot. And this is just the half of it. Parker here with Sac Metro Fire is now going to put this device on my back. But tell everybody at home what's going on. Here. This is a self-contained breathing apparatus. This is the air that we use. It's going to protect us from the air that's harmful inside of those burning structures. So let's go ahead okay. and put this on. Okay. And you can get the true Ooh, weight. That's heavy. How, how heavy much? is this, Parker? Yeah, I was going to say, how much it's about that 35 way? pounds. 35 pounds. Okay. How's there it fitting? Go. How's it look? It's uh, well. We're gonna get you cinched up here. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Pull that there. There, oh, there, there we go. <laughs> and this is the mask that you're gonna be wearing. Okay. Uh, well, in terms of the mask, though, you do have to properly be fitted for that. How does that work? It's. I mean, it's really quite the process. So every year we get mask fit tested, and that what that really is is. We put the mask on our face, we secure it the way we would, and we make sure that there's no air particles that could come in while we're breathing. So Got it's it. fully self-contained. Okay, so again, I have the turnouts out, turn out on. Uh, I will be tested for the mask. Turn so tell me what is what? happening today. Uh, so after we do this here at the logistics facility, we're gonna be heading over to a different location um, in Sacramento to do what exactly? You're gonna be going to our training facility and there we're gonna be actually using live fire uh, to put our recruits through the test. Oh They've been gosh. working now for really? several weeks in the fire academy to build on the skills that they have, the initial skills that we need them to perform. Now they're gonna put that to the test in live fire, limited visibility, heat, they're gonna experience all that before they come out of line to serve our community. And basically what they're gonna be going through, I am doing exactly that, of course, with the help of you. Uh, Bobby, come on over. Um, obviously these uniforms, I keep saying uniforms, but the turnouts, they're important to the safety of your firefighters. So you, you took me upstairs and we did a nice little fitting. Mm -hmm. What was important in terms of the fit? Yeah, the big thing that we want to make sure is that A, you have overlap. So there's actually a standard that states that you have to have three inches of overlap between your coat and pant. The other thing that people don't really understand is one of the things that's integral in this is the ability to have air within the garment. So we want to make sure that something's not super tight because that air is going to be a really good insulator to keep your heat out. And then having a garment that fits better, what that'll also do is make it lighter and easier for you to move. Got it. Okay. So it was quite the easy fitting though. We were able to look at my size and pull it all together. Yeah. It's not, particularly when you've done it a couple times, you'll look at somebody and you'll be able to tell what'll work for them. Right. And then we're lucky here that the department lets us have a large stock of equipment that's upstairs. So if we get somebody that comes in or we get a, a, a new recruit, we're able to fit them the same day. Um, you know, it's so funny, John, I was just thinking about this with you. When you did the, uh, Dina had you go through all the uh, maternity mm -hmm. things, you know, before she went on maternity leave, uh, you couldn't tie your shoe. I'm going to say it's the same exact feeling with this. My shoe was untied. I went to tie it, couldn't bend over. Uh, <laughs> so this is difficult. I mean, and able, to be able to move in these, it takes, I'm sure, a lot of practice. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of practice and it's definitely, we work with our manufacturers also to design okay. gear that's more ergonomic. As you've seen gear from back in the 80s and 90s is really just a standard cut. And as we move forward, we'll get gear gets lighter and more ergonomic. That's one of the things we've worked with here. And then in terms of just really fast, going back to the mask test, it's kind of in the back area. We'll do that off camera. Mm -hmm. um, it takes about eight to 10 minutes. So it's some time to make sure that I'm breathing properly. Yeah, and basically what we're doing is we're measuring the interior and exterior atmosphere. And then the machine is calculating the difference in those two atmospheres and then giving us a calculation on how clean your interior atmosphere is. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna bring Parker in really fast before we wrap it up. So for people who are tuning in, around 10.15, we have several segments leading up to that, but around 10.15, I will in fact run into um, a burning structure. Um, and what exactly will I be doing? So we're going to get you uh, hooked up with other recruits. We'll have you guys pull a line, go inside, and you're going to feel the heat. You're going to feel what it's like to be inside where you can't see the hands in front of you. Go to work, find that fire, put it out. And then we're going to bring you out and show you how to decontaminate yourself to get all those carcinogens um, off. So one of the things that we do face is cancer in the fire service. Yeah. And we are putting significant research and processes uh, towards reducing those contaminations. Yeah, I mean, full fit, running in, and then doing, doing a decon uh, finally at the very end of that. We're going to be live through the very end of the show uh, with all this. Thank you so much for allowing us to do this. Sac Metro Fire, this is incredible. Thank you so much. Game on. Um, and best of luck to all the recruits out there who I will be joining coming up in the next hour. Awesome. Uh, I got to go get now tested for this because I yeah. want to make sure I don't pass out. Uh, so uh, I'll toss yeah. it back and, to you. And so tie your shoe because I'm Actually, really... I know your mom watches. Does she know you're running into a burning building today? <laughs>
she she does it, and I'm now looking at my phone. Can you hear okay. my phone? I'm sure I have a text message already. Like, no, you're not. Let's see. You want to do this real time? Let's see. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, before yeah, yeah. You, better, you, want text? you better take that outfit off, young lady. Let's see. No text yet. Oh. No, just a hundred text messages from our group chat with all the reporters in the morning. Uh, but no mom, not yet. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, back on over to you. All right. Yeah.